Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the top five stories. At number one today, May 29th, 2023, Muhammad Dubari will step down as president of Nigeria and will hand over the leadership mantle to Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Among other delegates from within and outside the country, the United States delegation arrived for Tinubu's inauguration as the new Nigerian president. Tinubu will be ruling Nigeria for the next four years and currently has cases in court regarding his victory during the 2023 presidential election. At number two, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency intercepted a delivery of 32 improvised explosive devices that was being taken to a bandit camp in Niger State. The operation was carried out in anticipation of the presidential inauguration on May 29th and the start of a new administration across the country. Musa Muhammadu, who was caught with the explosives on May 22nd, has been transferred to the military. In a separate incident, the NDLEA also recovered a shipment of methamphetamine concealed in a soap containers heading to Cyprus. At number three, the Nigeria police force has denied reports that the incumbent Inspector General of Police, Usman Al-Khali Baba, has been ordered to be removed from office due to being over the retirement age. The force has confirmed that Al-Khali Baba will remain in his position as IG. The NPF has advised people to ignore false news on social media and noted that the four-year period for individuals appointed as IG is based on the law and not personal favoritism. Earlier reports claimed that the federal high courts declared Al-Khali Baba's continuous stay in office as illegal due to reaching retirement age in 2023. At number four, Budget, a Nigerian organization criticized the eight-year presidency of Major General Muhammad Bari retired for causing high debt, inflation, and low growth in the country. According to their report, Bari's government spent more than it earned, resulting in a large deficit that was financed by domestic and external debt. Additionally, the organization noted that unemployment increased significantly during Bari's presidency due to poor exchange rate management. At number five, the House of Representatives approved an amendment of the Central Bank of Nigeria Act increasing the maximum amount of temporary advances the bank can give to the government. The increase was from 5 to 15 percent and was made in response to criticism that the government had already exceeded the previous limits. The Senate also approved the change and both chambers held emergency sessions to do so. The CBN Act allows the bank to grant temporary advances to the government when there is a shortfall in budget revenue. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.